Alaska and eat its activity town. And in our activity lesson, we're going to learn about my safety. How can you be safe? Can you be safe from far away from home? Who keeps you safe? So let's learn about my safety today. Let's turn to page 40. I have some vocabulary. I'll say, you say after me. Accident. Accident. Stumble. Stumble. Medicine. Medicine. Electrical. Electrical. God wants me to take care of myself. He wants me to be safe. Good safety habits will keep me from getting hurt. They will also keep me from doing things that will hurt other people. I can get hurt at school. So get, so look inside, look into your book. The boy, he's playing the swing. He swing it so high and he has fallen. He has a cut on his leg. On the sidewalk, yes, the little girl is skating and she's almost fall down. On the street, you this this little boy riding his bike and he has fallen down at home. Now you need to be careful of this. At home, you put your toys in the stairs. That's where that is not where the toys belong. So someone can trip over it. Safety in my home. Most accidents can happen at home or caused by falls. I can help by keeping my toys picked up so that someone won't stumble over them. If I spill water on the floor, I wipe it up. Wet floors are slippery. Sometimes I see wet floors. I didn't I didn't see the the wet place and I walk into it and I fall down, I always hurt my head very much. I do not carry too much at one time. If I am going up or down stairs, I make sure I can see the stairs. We have some home safety manners. Carry pointed objects with the point down. Just like scissors, you must carry your scissors at you must carry your scissors with the point down. Do not run while you are carrying sharp or pointed objects. Yes, it can hurt your eyes. Do not do not take <coughs> do not take medicine from the medicine cabinet yourself by yourself. So you must be very careful. If you're sick, you must not take the medicine from yourself. It can hurt you more. It can make you feel sick more. Do not plug in electrical cords when your hands are wet. Yes, so you must keep your hands dry to plug in to plug in the electrical cords. Do not play with matches. Of course, you would never play with matches. Do not stand too close to a fire. Of course, if you stand too close to a fire, you might burn. Do not do not play with your parents' guns. Yeah. It can hurt us. Do not leave your toys on the floor where someone could trip over them. Of course, you must put it on the box of, you must put the toys inside of the toy box. Do not play with cleaning supplies, of course. Okay, now we have something to do. I can practice safety rules at home. Cross out objects that could cause harm with your red crayon. Circle objects that help keep you safe with your green crayon. Now let's look at our book. I see the matches. You cross out the matches, cross out the pot, the medicine, and the electrical cord. You cross out the water that was spilling the the cars on the stairs the candles that are burning and the shoes circle the circle your safe circle the things that keep you safe with your green crayon you will circle the toy box and use 
circle the alarm. Fifty away from home, a policeman is my friend. If I get lost, he can help me find my parents. I need to know my parents' names, my telephone number, and my address. Here, sick and right. My father's name is Le Anh. My mother's name is Hai Yen. My telephone number is zero nine zero four eight nine eight and seven seven five. My address is I am I live at apartment one zero three and um I can say it more I always can say it like that because I can't remember what to say I know where I live but I can't remember good habits. Safety. Ask permission before going anywhere. Never leave a building by yourself. Yeah, that is not good. Before you go anywhere, tell an adult where you are going. Sometimes my mom gets very angry at me. Do you know why? Because I play without ask permission. I go to the store, buy some things, and I didn't ask, ask my mom where I go. When you are alone, do not talk to the people that you do not know. Of course, they might lie to you. They might lie to you. Do not ride in a car with a stranger. They might drive you to a faraway places. They, they could keep you harmed. Do not play in old empty buildings. Of course, if you play in an old empty building, what might happen to you? If there are strangers, thieves, do not pet stray animals. Uh, yeah. Do not eat berries that you find or put flowers, leaves, or twigs in your mouth. Yeah, because you would find put flowers, leaves, or twigs in your mouth. If you eat berries that you find <coughs> flowers, leaves, or twigs with them, you should pull them out. Go to home, wash. Wash them before you eat them. Do not hide in old refrigerators or clothes dryer. They might keep. They will keep you hard. Safety on the street. I like to walk. I walk on the right side of the sidewalk. I stay close to an adult. Sometimes there is no sidewalk, so I must walk on the street. I walk carefully along the left side of the road, close to the curb. I can see the cars that are coming and stay out of their way. I look to the left and to the right before I cross the street. If the way is clear, I hold an adult's hand and walk across the street. I do not run. Busy streets have stoplights. I cross the street when the light is green. So we have some light traffic. Red said stop. Yellow said slow down. Green said, go carefully. Good habits for walking. Walk along the left side of the street. You must walk. <coughs> <coughs> you must walk in the left side of the street because this way, because this way will keep you, this way will keep you from seeing the way more clear. Cross the street only at the corner of the street. Yes, you must cross the street only at the corner of the street because that will keep you safe. Do not cross the street between parked cars. If your car crosses the street between parked cars, do you know that there are drivers inside or the drivers might bump into you? Stop, look and listen before crossing a railroad track. So you must stop, look, and listen before uh, crossing a railroad track because the train, you didn't know what time it would go. If you go right away, what if the train bumped into you? Stay away from trains that are stopped on the track. Yes, you must stay, stay away from trains that are stopped on the track. You must, 
you must wait it for the train to go and then you could cross the railroad track. I ride my bike. I ask in the door before I ride my bike. I ride my bike close to the curb on the right side of the street. I do not ride on the sidewalk where people are walking. I should not let a friend ride on my bicycle with me. I cannot see well. When I ride my bike with a friend, we do not ride beside each other. We ride one behind the other to get cars plenty of room. Traffic laws help keep me safe. I stop at stoplights and stop sign. I wear a safety helmet. If I cross a busy street, I walk my bike, bike across. If you see a busy street, you must stop and you must walk your bike across. Do not ride your bike really fast ac across the busy street. I use hand signal before I turn or stop. All right, so let's see. This is right turn. Show me right turn. Yes. This is left turn. Show me left turn. And this is stop. All right, let's see. Show me right turn. Good. Show me stop. And show me left turn. Wow, you're really amazing with it. Show me stop. Right turn. Left turn. Good job. Remember? Remember? Buckle. Closest. Close. I ride to school. I do not crowd or push when I get on the bus. I wait for my turn. Then I find a seat and sit down. I do not stand up or walk around while the bus is moving. I never put my hands or head outside the bus window. I talk quietly when I ride the bus. I don't want to cause my driver to have an accident. When I get home, I cross the street in front of the bus. Then my bus driver can see me. So you don't want to cause my your drive <coughs> <coughs> your di driver to have an accident. And you said to the driver, "Oh no, there's there's a big fire ahead. Be careful! You bumped into it." No, if that is a lie, if if that is a lie, the driver might stop and all the. And all the kids said, it was a lie, you lied to him. That is not good. Sometimes I ride to school in the car. I always sit in the back seat of the car. I am glad I remember to buckle my seatbelt and lock the door. I feel safe. When I get to school, I get out of the car on the side closest to the sidewalk. <coughs> we have some good habits for writing. Stay seated on the bus. Yes, you must stay seated on the bus. Do not stand up, walk around. Keep your hands inside the bus or car's window. Never put your hands out like this. It will, maybe it will cut off your head. When getting off a bus, cross the street in front of the bus. Yes, if you cross the street in front of the bus, the bus driver can see you and then, when your walk is finished, he would go to keep you safe. Ride in the back seat of the car. Yes, you must ride in the back seat of the car. Buckle your seatbelt when you get into the car. You must buckle your seatbelt when you get into the car. That, that way, it will help you from falling out of the car. Get out of a car on the side closest to the curb or sidewalk. You must get out uh, of the car on the closest side to the curb or the sidewalk. That will protect you if you if the curb or the sidewalk is too far. You must look left to right and then left again to make sure which way is the closest way. And we finish. We finish our activity lesson right now. Bye. See you next time.